Hi, I'm Tim Bartz, Internet Sales Manager here at Law MacArthur Ford in Salina, Kansas, your source for Ford news update and information with a video on the 2024 Ford Bronco Sport. So we're going to be working our way through the different, com uh, what we'd like to call complete guide videos, where we're going to cover all the standard equipment plus the different packages and standalone options that are available on each of the different trims. This one here, we're going to start with the Big Ben trim. This is the, uh, we we'll no longer have a base trim for this year. So this is the starting in a sense, the entry level Bronco Sport here, but a lot of other um, packages branch off of the Big Ben. They actually take the equipment from the Big Ben and then just have a different look and features to them. And so Big Ben's a very important trim for the uh, Bronco Sport lineup. So let's go ahead and dive in and, and get started and talk about this. Now in this, order banks are open up right now for the 2024 Bronco Sport. So you can get in, you can go to your local dealership and, and put in an order for a Bronco Sport uh, right now. And uh, so make sure you find a good local dealership. There's a bunch of them out there. If you're wanting to order from us, we do have a lot of allocations. We're going to be able to get those uh, pretty easily and even getting some stock ones available. So uh, definitely check out our, our dealership. If you're wanting to order one from us, we can help you out as well. We do have a special that I have for our YouTube viewers. We'll have more information about that at the end of the video, which reminds me there's a timestamp for that as well as every parts of this video. So use the timestamps to move around and use this as a resource to you. So whether you order from us or not, the whole goal behind this is to help educate you, help you figure out if this trim is going to be perfect for you. So let's get in and dive in and start talking about, we're going to break it out between mechanical, safety, uh, exterior, interior uh, features here as the standard features, then get into different packages from there and uh, probably be reusing some of this stuff because uh, some of the safety features and such are the same about on all the trims. So let's get started. First, talking about the mechanical features on the Big Ben tram. And so we're going to jump on over here to Ford's build and price website. It is up already for the 2024 Bronco Sport, which I say that because that is a big deal. Uh, so it is available. It is up and running. In fact, I couldn't even find where the 20, how to build a 23 right now. That's how up and uh, ready it is. So we'll hit our start your build here. And uh, we will, you know, go through this. You can actually go through and get some information from this. But just to let you know, um, for the most part, it won't cover all the features. And I'm going to make sure I cover everything from the order guide uh, for you. So uh, a little bit more in depth than maybe Ford will on their website. So, um, but yes, you can use this as a resource. Starting price is 31 230 and that is before destination and delivery charge. Uh, I think it's 1595 this year. Uh, if I remember right, but we do have the Big Ben, Heritage, the Freewheeling, Outer Banks, and Badlands. Five different trim levels for the Bronco Sport here. Uh, Heritage Limited Edition is not available this year, which was, again, very limited to only 19, uh, 1,966 versions of that, or I should say not versions, units. In 2023, no longer available this year, and the base trim is no longer available. But we do have a new one called Freewheeling. Uh, so let's go ahead and start. We're starting with the big bin though on this video. So let's go ahead and dive in and start our build here. And we are going to use, uh, go to the powertrain here, talk about mechanical features first. The only engine available for the big bin and a lot of the trims really is a 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Uh, so that engine there is going to include auto start stop technology, which means you come up to stop light, stop sign, press the brake. It's going to shut the vehicle off. You let go of the brake. It's going to turn it back on. That is something you can uh, turn off, uh, deactivate if you want to. So that doesn't happen. Uh, you will have to do that for each engine cycle, but there's just a button on the dash. You just press and you don't have to do anything after that. Also, of course, all these will be four by four. Uh, so it's going to come with the terrain management system with five goat modes, which means go over any type of terrain. And yes, the Bronco Sport is made to go off road on all versions. So uh, I actually have a big bin that I have on order and uh, that's for 23 and uh, I plan to take it off road. So you can do that. It'll have an, a normal mode, an eco mode, a sport mode, a slippery mode and a sand mode. So if you're going off road, put it in that slippery mode. It'll put it in that four by four mode for you that you need. Uh, standard duty suspension for that as well. Um, and the reason they say that is because the Badlands has its own uh, suspension system set up for that. Also, eight-speed automatic transmission. Almost forgot to talk about that. Uh, so you're going to have that. So eight-speed automatic with the 1.5 has been used on several vehicles and is a very dependable uh, transmission and engine setup there for you. So you're going to have that. A couple other features as part of the mechanical features that you're going to have is you're going to have a front and rear stabilizer bar. So again, made to go off-road here. You have electro electric parking brake that includes an auto hold feature that'll hold that. If you want to uh, stop light, take your foot off the brake, it'll hold the brake for you. You have electronic brake assist as well. 
and you're going to have electronic traction control too. And let's not forget about hill start assist that allow you if you're on a hill. So that way it won't drift down. I actually got a chance to experience that in a vehicle that wasn't a Ford vehicle and how it drifted back because it didn't have hill start assist. So I do make sure I, I, I let people know about that. Also electric power assist steering. We call it E-Pass. So that makes it a little bit easier turning the steering, steering wheel and such being electronically controlled instead of gas controlled. You don't have to be moving for it to be able to, to, to give you that power steering, uh, which is really nice. So that's all of our mechanical features here. Let's, uh, let's talk about a few safety features. And I really don't have a lot of clips for this stuff, but we do have, just to kind of go over it, we do have um, airbags. So in the front, you'll have a driver and front passenger dual stage front airbag. Deploys a different size airbag, depends on how close you are to the front of the vehicle. You do have a driver knee airbag as well that's going to deploy down an airbag, protect the driver from that front collision and that the column, the console or the column, steering column uh, being uh, thrust down in that front collision. You have front seat side, front seat mounted side impact airbags, which means those are mounted onto the seat and it'll deploy if there's a side collision there and help protect the, the occupants and the front seats. Safety canopy airbag, that's a that's a side curtain airbag with a rollover sensor that's going to come down. <laughs> I can't see my hand. Come down over to the side. So if it, it's going to roll over, it's to pull that down. Help. The goal on that is to, to uh, put that in front of the glass, in front of the windows, before it any of the body kind of breaks. Because typically, you're going to have sheet metal and glass wanting to come in. And that will help protect it and, and keep it out and keep you safe in there, as well as protect your head and such. Also, we do have... Um, advanced track with roll stability control. So the whole goal, goal behind that is to keep you on your intended path. Going to that curve maybe too fast or slick outside, it'll help keep you going where you want to. SOS post-crash alert system. So if you are in an accident off the side of the road, it's going to honk the horns, flash the lights, and let you know that someone needs to come to your safety. Or let others know, I should say. Also, 911 Assist allows you with your Bluetooth-enabled phone to be able to call 911 directly with that phone there if you are not able to get to your phone pre-collision assist with automatic emergency braking so if you're going along uh it's going to have a it's going to have dynamic brake support uh collision warning so if you're going at certain speeds the car in front of you is going slower than you or they're stopped and you would hit them it's going to alert you and let you know you need to you need to hit your brakes preloads the brakes as well so you can stop even faster if you are in an accident, there is post-collision braking as well that's going to break the vehicle. Sometimes people forget to put it in park. It's just one of those things. You just had an accident. You're kind of freaking out and everything. Uh, it'll help break the vehicle for you. And if you're unconscious, too, a uh, situation like that. So a couple other things. You do have lane keeping system that will help keep you in your lane. So you have the uh, dri driver alert feature. So if you're taking your hands off the steering wheel too often, it's going to alert you and let you know that you're doing that and maybe maybe you're falling asleep, that kind of thing. Also, you do have lane keeping aid system and alert system. So two different ways they use. You can use them together if you want or separately. The alert system will allow you to leave your lane, but when you go over those lines, it's going to vibrate the steering wheel and let you know you've left your lane. The aid system will help keep you in your lane. Uh, so you can use those together. What it'll do is when you get over to the line, it'll vibrate the steering wheel but still leave you in your lane. So you can use those one or the other or both together. Also, we do have perimeter alarm. So when you have the vehicle locked up, it's going to put a perimeter alarm on the vehicle. So if someone tries to break glass, get inside and such, it's going to set that alarm off. Someone shakes it, moves it, and that kind of thing. Uh, then it's going to do that same thing. Also, you do have secure lock, passive, and the theft system, which means only the coded key can start the vehicle. So that helps protect it from being started without the key. So there you go. That's all of our safety features. Now let's jump into the exterior features. So let's jump back in over here. Uh, to the building price, and we're going to go. Uh, we're going to use some of these images here to give you a view around the vehicle. Start with the front there. So here on the front, uh, on all the all the Broncos, you're going to have the acoustic laminated windshield. So it's two pieces of glass with plastic in between. So the goal behind that is it's going to make it a little bit quieter on that windshield and, and road noise. But the biggest benefit of that is if something something goes in and hits that, it's going to help keep that windshield together so it doesn't come in and breaking glass coming inside you and hurting you. Also, we for the grill is going to be a carbonized painted grill up here with the white Bronco lettering on it. So. There you go. You got front bumper is going to be black molded in color, as you can see here, which means that color is put into the mold when it's made. That's why you see it as being black there and it's not going to be painted onto it. Um, also, active grill shutters down here that's going to open and close when it needs to allow for airflow in uh, to help cool it off when you're going slower speeds on the highway shuts those 
gives you a little bit better aerodynamics and you don't need that much wind because you've got enough air coming up underneath the vehicle. You have configurable daytime running lights and we talk about lights here for a second. So you can have those configured to be on during the daytime. You do get LED headlights and they are automatic, uh, I believe auto feature on these. I don't have that in my notes. Uh, but they should have the auto feature, which means in a, when you have an auto setting, like I'm on automatic when it gets dark, shut off when it gets light. Also, you have auto high beam headlights, which works similar. So if it's dark outside, those high beams will come on. Someone's approaching you. You're in the city lights. It's going to shut them off. That's something you can activate and deactivate in your lighting section of your vehicle setting screen. Now, the wheel here you can see is a 17-inch carbonized gray painted high gloss alloy wheel. So pretty cool looking wheel to go with that. Uh, does come with all season tires as standard equipment on these individual tire pressure monitoring system that measures the tire pressure on those and lets you know what that is on your dash, even in the app, which we'll talk about later. Four wheel disc brakes with analog braking system as well that comes with this. And uh, let's move around to the side so you can kind of see. Here you go. Now on the side, we did on the front, it's going to have that molded in black to help protect it and make it durable, but also wheel lip molding. As well, you're going to see that same thing as well as the lower rocker molding and going across the back into the back of the vehicle. So that helps protect from rocks and such getting kicked up and other dirt and stuff. Um, so that is, again, made to go off road. So it's going to give you that as durable parts there that can be replaced cheaper as well as repainting your body. Right. Um, and then also um, see have all that. The. The emblem up here, there's going to be molded in black right there as well. You're going to have the Big Ben badge right there and molded in black door handles too. That's going to come standard as well as your mirror cap. Your mirror cap is going to be that molded in black as well there for you. You will get power and heat glass on the mirror though. Manual fold feature as well. Um, you will get bliss. A blind spot information system with cross traffic alert. So if you're someone, someone in your blind spot, it's going to put a light in the corner of that mirror and let you know it's not safe to go in that lane at that time. And also if someone's crosses your path behind you, it's going to alert you as well. So as you're backing up, someone's going to cross, they're in those blind spots. It's going to alert you with a series of tones. You need to not st uh, back up. Puts a, a little red on the in the productivity screen that you need to not back up and stop. And even in the, the mirrors, it will show you where that's at. And I believe even on your backup camera now, it shows you the direction they're going to and from, So which is pretty cool. Um, you do get intelligent access with your remote control unlock and unlock with a hidden key. So it's going to be kind of a flip key design, but intelligent access. So you can just put your hands in the door handle. It's going to automatically unlock the vehicle. I have to get in and out, lock the vehicle as well. So um, the upper window molding you're going to see is going to be um, up here black on the belt line up there. Also, you'll see the pillars will also be black. Gives you that floating roof line design. So you're going to have a body colored roof with this. Also, you're going to have molded in black side rails as well here that are uh, unique to each of the different trim levels. So this in here on the big bend is going to look like that. Actually, I think several of them that have the same look. And I think Badlands and Outer Banks are upgraded a little bit. But uh, side rails there so you can put things on top. Privacy glass in these back windows, quarter windows and back glass. It's a little bit cooler for everybody back there as well. Um, easy fuel campus filler door. So uh, go to this other one. Uh, there we go. So you can see that there. You just push that door open, uh, put the nozzle in, fill it up. When you're done, just take it out and shut that door. No cap to worry about leaving behind, getting your hands dirty, anything like that. Um, now let's talk about um, a couple of safety features I didn't mention earlier uh, that I've thrown in here for this is that these doors here do have child safety lock on them. So uh, they can you can lock those out so that way kids can't open them when you have the vehicle unlocked. So pretty pretty cool to have. Kind of a throw, should have thrown in the safety features, but included in here. Um, center high mounted stoplight here on the back, so it's a third brake light, so people know you don't want to brake. It's up high for so those taller vehicles and trucks and such. Uh, we do have a rear wiper back here, so uh, no dear dear rear defrost this year, but we do have a rear wiper uh, right back there, so you're gonna have that on there. Um, we do have LED tail lights back here as well. We do have a rear view camera that's going to come out right there. So you can be able to see behind you as you're backing up. You do have a manual lift gate for this and flip up glass as well. So that glass can, can flip up for you as well back there. Now, um, we do have, uh, as you open that up, um, we do have floodlights inside. I might throw in graphics on this if I have the images, but your floodlights, you can adjust those on the tailgate and you uh, turn those on on the, I believe, the left side of the cargo area in there and you have those floodlights. Bottle opener as well inside, which is really unique to this. So it's located in that hatch on that the passenger side 
Uh, so that way you can bottle openers and such if you're out camping and such like that. You will have rubberized cargo floor, so that way you can kind of it's easy to clean out and such. Um, and uh, you will have we're going to get to the uh, I actually have latch system here. We'll talk about that when we get to the seats inside. You'll get a mini spare wheel and tire inside. So so it's nice that you have a spare tire because some brand, some models you don't always get that. Uh, rear cargo area light as well. That switch is going to be I think on the right side. You can flip on. And it turns on the, the lights inside the cargo area in there. You do have a 12 volt outlet as well in there. So it's that little power, it's a power point there. So you can plug things in and charge things in there if you want. Some of those refrigerators and such will have those. I know the refrigerator I just purchased has that uh, in there. It's a cool refrigerator combo. Also, you have cargo tie down carabiner hooks as well and loops. There's four of them in the vehicle, two on each side. You'll have that as well. Uh, too so in that cargo area so now let's go ahead and, and go to the interior of the vehicle so all right for the interior you do have carpeted flooring front and rear for you you have mats front carpeted mats with the bronco sport on those mats uh for your seats unique cloth bucket seats that are easy clean seats so they're very durable seats uh, six-way manual driver adjustment uh, that's forward and back, up and down for you in manual recline. Four-way manual passenger seat that'll go forward and back in manual recline. So you'll see the lever there, and that forward and back is underneath there. Uh, second row is a 60-40 split fold-flat seat. So you'll uh, divide right there. You can fold that flat down, so you can put things in the back. That's not completely flat. Uh, Ford calls it fold flat, but it's pretty close. Um, we do have the rear center armrest as well that folds down. You can see that loop right there, and that's what that's for. It'll have two cup holders in it as well. And on the back of the seats, you'll have a Molly strap system. That's standard equipment on the Big Ben and pretty much all of your Bronco Sport trim levels. You will have rear console air vents. So on the back of those those vents, you're gonna or on the back of the console, I should say, you'll have air vents back there. Uh, USB ports uh, type. A and C as well on the back of the console. Um, windows, you do have power windows. Uh, front, one touch up, uh, down feature, I should say, for the driver only. So that means that you just hard press it down and it'll it'll roll down. So not up and not the other windows, just the driver's window. Comes in handy in those drive throughs and such like that. Power door locks as well. Uh, lock and unlock for you. Uh, manual tilt and telescoping steering wheel. There's a lever underneath. You just pull that. It'll go up and down, forward and back for you. You'll see the productivity screen in there. You're going to have a speedometer, tachometer, and also a 4.2-inch instrument panel in there. Cruise control as well as standard equipment. You're going to see that on the, the controls here. Uh, you also have a D-pad for to control the productivity screen there as well. And then I think volume controls as well on the steering wheel. Now, right here, you're going to see is a push-button start. Uh, so you can don't have to get the keys out to get in or out or to start it. You have electronic automatic time, uh, climate control down here, so which is really cool. So it is going to be one single zone for everybody there, but you can and does can put it on the temperature you want, um, which is really nice to have. So you know, kind of like you do in your house. You have AM FM stereo with six speakers, Sirius XM satellite radio, a standard equipment. I make a big deal of that because on the Maverick you got to go clear up to the Lariat trim. On this, you do have Sirius XM satellite radio included. Sync 3 also is included, uh, which is also another big deal. 8-inch touchscreen as well in the center stack. And you have Apple CarPlay, Android Auto capabilities. So you can connect your phone in and be able to use those. Uh, I like that, especially for the Android Auto maps. Uh, I really like using that. Uh, we do have day-night mirror as well. So you can see the lever under there. You can flip that, and it angles it at nighttime. So just flip that down for night. Overhead console with the sunglass bin. Let me get you the 360 view on this uh, so you can see what that looks like. Sunglass bin right up there with a light switch right there as well. You do have also down under here uh, in the media hub area, you're going to see it does have a 12-volt power point there, USB type A and C, and room to be able to store your phone down in there as well or anything else you want down in there. You can see there, rotary dial shifter knob there, electric parking brake. We mentioned that as well. Your goat mode switch is right there. You can't see it in this image. I uh, still can't see it. <laughs> All right there. You do have a padded console here. You can put storage inside, cup holders as well. you got a glove box as well right there too. Uh, all, that, all, all that great storage right there. Uh, and then don't forget, do you have the Ford Pass Connect. It allows you to stay connected to your vehicle 
using the Ford Pass app. It's a free app you download, connect your vehicle, and you can unlock and lock your vehicle from anywhere, remote start your vehicle from anywhere, schedule remote start times, see the tire pressure on your tires with the app. You can even see how much fuel you have and even where your vehicle is located all through that app. A lot of great benefits of having that app, and it is all, they're always updating it and making updates for that as well. So definitely want to make sure you download that app and use it. It'll be very beneficial. So that's all of our standard equipment with the exception of colors. So let's talk about color options here real quick. So let's talk about the colors. We do have, uh, for this year, we do have hot pepper red tinted clear coat. That is a, since it's a tinted clear coat, it is $4.95 for that color. We do have iconic silver. So that color is a, uh, a little bit lighter than that, actually. That almost looks like the gray. We have Atlas Blue. So if you're looking for a blue color, that is it. We have one other blue color as well. We'll get to that in just a second. Uh, Alto Blue is not available this year, as well as Area 51 is not available. Uh, you'll also notice Cyber Orange is not available. So the colors are not available for this year. And then we do have the Carbonized Gray Metallic that is available. So that's pretty close to the color there. We also have Cactus Gray. That is not <laughs> the cactus. That looks blue. That almost looks like the, uh, the egg and the uh, um, Robin's Egg Blue for a second, but uh, Cactus Gray, let me get you a better color of Cactus Gray. Uh, that is not it. So uh, there's a, so I'll give you a, uh, throw a shot up there on that one. We also have Eruption Green, which uh, a little darker than this uh, as well, but pretty close uh, there. We do have the Desert Sand that I think will be pretty close to that color right there. And we also do have the Azure Gray. That is a tri-coat uh, paint color. And it's a metallic paint color as well. $9.95 for that paint color. We also have Shadow Black. And we have Oxford White as well. So all those are your colors for this year. Uh, so again, Azure Gray is new. Uh, uh, that Desert Sand is new for you. And then again, Alto Blue not available. Area 51 not available. And Cyber Orange not available for this year. Now, moving to the interior for colors, uh, you do have these uh, ebony interior, as you're seeing with this right here. Uh, and you also have the uh, medium dark slate interior as well. So two different color interiors for you uh, right there. So there you go. So, all right. So there you go. Kind of gives you two different color interiors. So you can see just the accents right there is the main difference there. Also, the roof line or, or um, the headliner is going to be a little bit different between those two. So, but those are your two options there. Actually, that's the same on Ebony or the other. So just your seats is pretty much the only difference there. So those are your two options uh, for that. Um, you go down to the seating hint down here and um, you can kind of see this is actually for a special package. We're going to talk about in just a little bit uh, to get you premium interior. So we'll get to talk about that in just a second. Um, all right. So um, it's not available yet. So we'll talk about that in just a little bit. But those are your interior color options for those two right there. So you have those two options for you on this. And uh, let me just double check and make sure on colors and stuff before we move on that we got everything covered there. So yeah, so we do have the uh, the cloth seats will be the same on regardless of the color. You have ebony or you have that medium dark slate uh, that we showed you. And those, those two interior colors are available on all your exterior colors as well. So, all right, so let's move on to the packages now. Now let's go ahead and talk about the Copilot 360 Assist Plus package. Now this package is actually available on all trim levels. Uh, so I'll probably include this clip on all of them. It makes it a little bit easier for uh, making these videos. So as you can see there, $8.95 is the price for this package. And I think it is a really good value on that because on this one here, this is where you're getting your adaptive cruise control with stop and go, lane centering, evasive steering assist, and your uh, voice activated navigation system. Um, with the speed sign recognition as well. So that's a lot of features. And I like this because this basically allows you to add this Copilot 360 Assist and have your adaptive cruise on all of your Bronco Sport trim levels. Something I've been begging um, uh, for to do with the Maverick since it was launched is to make this available on the XLT trim, which is not. You have to go clear up to Lariat trim and spend a lot of money. And uh, Bronco uh, on the Bronco Sport, you're able to get this package on any trim level. So this, let's break this down between all of them. Show your adaptive cruise control with stop and go and lane centering. So let's talk about that first. Adaptive cruise means that you can actually go with traditional cruise like you normally use it or adaptive, which means when you set that cruise, you're going to go along. If someone's going you know, slower than you, 
and you come up bes- uh, behind them, it's going to slow you down to go their speed until you, it's safe for you to resume. Then it's going to speed you back up. So that's a, a great feature to have. Also helps keep you, it brings you a complete stop as well. So if you're going along, it'll help. Uh, if there's someone going and you get in your stop and go traffic, bring it to complete stop. And then when they start going, you start going, which is great. Also lane centering helps keep you in the center of your lane which is a great feature to have. So it's a little different than lane keeping, which can be activated um, with or without your cruise. This is dependent on your cruise with the adaptive cruise and keeps you in the center of your lane. So you can really, there's actually times where you could take your hands off the steering wheel because it's going to keep you in that lane. It's just one step from being on that blue cruise, right? Capability there. Also evasive steering assist. So if you're not able to stop in time, uh, with the vehicle you need to avoid somebody it's going to assist in the steering so you can steer around them easily so it's going to make it easier to steer uh, we also do get the voice activated navigation system with this uh, so that's going to be included as well i'm um, not sure the length of that um, some of the vehicles i know it's been they've changed it to one year um, this actually says uh, you're going to get the sirius xm traffic link um, for five year subscription with this traffic and travel link uh, looks like you get the navigation is just going to be included. So it doesn't it doesn't have a, a term there. So that's pretty cool. So navigation, there you go. And speed sign recognition goes along with your cruise control. So if you're going along and you set that cruise for, let's say the speed uh, is 70, and you set your cruise at 75, five over, and you can set that tolerance. If that speed zone changes like 65, you'll slow down to six to 70 miles an hour. So that really helps. And, you know, maybe if you didn't realize the speed changed, you're talking, whatever, um, that kind of helps from getting tickets, uh, safety as well, and that kind of thing. So uh, I think those are great. You can adjust those in your settings. So Ford Copilot 360 Assist Plus package available on all your Bronco Sport trim levels. So now let's talk about the convenience package. Now this package actually is available on the Big Ben trim. It actually says in here Big Ben, but also available on the Heritage Edition and also available on the new freewheeling package our free wheeling edition. So this package is available on three different trim levels. Uh, so this package includes some great features. So again, convenience features, right? So this, v, this uh, let's go over these real quick. Now, uh, 1785, I assume it's going to be the same price. It might be a little cheaper on the Heritage Edition since the LED fog lights are actually included in the Heritage Edition. Uh, but on the uh, for the Big Ben and the free wheeling edition, you will also get the LED fog lights included as part of this package. You're also going to get the eight-way power driver seat that will electronically allow you to go forward and back, up and down, power recline, and give you power lumbar. So that's that upgrades that driver seat for you to be electronically controlled. Also, heated seat for the driver and front passenger, which will be nice to have. And with those cloth seats, going to heat up very very fast for that also your steering wheel going to premium wrapped steering wheel as well so i like this so upgrades from that that polyurethane steering wheel to a a premium wrap steering wheel um and then we do have the wireless charging pad so that is going to be located down in the media hub area by those little outlets down there underneath your climate control you just put your phone i mentioned earlier about putting your phone in there um, that is where you put it down in there and it will to charge your phone. Also, universal garage door openers, those are going to be on the driver's visor. So you can program up to three different transmitters, garage doors. If you have multiple garage doors, you can program both of them. Um, so you're going to have those on there as well. And then you're going to have the re- rear parking sensors that go along with the rear view camera. So as you're backing up, you're going to be able to see behind you. But now you're going to also get alerted if you get too close to anything. Again, 1785 for most of your on uh, most of your trim levels convenience package very very good package uh, a lot of people will add this to their vehicle now let's talk about the black appearance package new package for this year only available on the big ben trim this is not available by the way down here with the black diamond off-road package um saying it's not available with the shadow black exterior paint color either kind of a bummer there uh 1750 uh, for that uh for this package and includes all these features we're just going to add it right here and uh, since I have my notes, we're going to just add it so you can kind of go around the vehicle and see it actually uh, what it looks like. Um, so it does require you to change your seats and such. We'll show you that in just a second and why. But we're going to show you this on a white so you can kind of really see what it looks like. So there we go. So this is a really, again, a, a cool package. I, don't, I really like it. Um, conflict between that and off-road package but there we go so this package here is going to give you a unique look on the outside so your grill up here um oops not going to get to the seats yet so the grill up here this is where you're going to get almost the and since last year we we did lose the base trim 
um, but we gained the grill. <laughs> so this is a black grill up here with the black letters on the front. So it kind of gives you the same grill that we did see on the uh, carbon black that we did see on the base trim. So now they're just kind of repurposing that grill for this package here. Uh, so you're going to have that. Also, you're going to get uh, the roof, though, is going to be black painted roof. So that normally you would see on your Outer Banks and Badlands Edition. Now it's also included in the black appearance package. So available to get a black roof on a Big Ben. So now it's going to be really hard to see somebody rolling down the street and go, well, I think that's an Outer Banks or I think that's a Badlands. Now with a black painted roof on this one as well uh, is going to be uh, unique to see that uh, coming down the road. Also the wheel. So you're going to see that as well. So this wheel is a 17-inch matte black painted wheel. So it has a really unique wheel uh, to this as well right here. Um, so it doesn't mention any upgrades to the tires, though. So I uh, don't see that. So probably still an all-season tire for you. Uh, also, you're going to get unique badges for uh, with black accents to them. So um, don't know. I can't see that badging. It actually looks like it's body colored right there, uh, right on the outside. But it does say unique badging. Um, so, oops, wrong way. Um, so you do see, uh, the grill we mentioned, but also here in the back, it'll be black as well instead of white. Uh, so you're going to have that too. Uh, I'm not sure what other badgings, uh, are, are painted black for you there, but we do see the, um, oh, I can't really get a good image of the decal on the front. I'll try to get you a clip that I'll throw in here for you, but unique graphics for this. So uh, some great hood graphics for this. It looks really cool on it. So you'll have some hood graphics that come along with this. Looks like right here, too. That looks different and unique than we normally see. Uh, so that also looks a little bit different as well on that Bronco. So pretty cool uh, for that. Now, on the in inside, let's go to the inside here. You will get uh, some unique uh, – oh, I not unique magic to talk about. You do get uh, carpeted mat in the back. So that's going to be included in this package. You're also going to get floor liners front and rear without the carpeted mats. So special floor liners for this. But notice the seats. So the seats are going to be upgraded and different. So you're going to get the um, – Sport contour bucket seats, a little bit seat than you get with the other. Premium trimmed as well with this because uh, we do see some like some nice premium trim on it in sections. Um, but you're going to have that as well. So a little bit different style and look to the seats and the badging. So I'm going to give you a clip from, uh, in fact, actually, let me see if we can do 360 view on this. Nope, it won't show you. So I'm going to give you a clip off of Ford's uh, Ford Media that shows us the badging on this because you do have a console badge as well uh, that's going to be located right here that's going to be unique and dedicated to this and let you know you have something special with this package. So pretty cool package. Again, not available with the Black Diamond package on this, but uh, very uh, very cool package if you want to get this on there that is available on the Big Ben trim. So there you go. So let's talk about another package available. Uh, now this package is available on the Big Ben as well as the Outer Banks trim levels. Uh, and this is that allows you to be able to take your vehicle off-road uh, by giving you some protection and some uh, some durability and some cool graphics as well. So this is called the Black Diamond Off-Road Package, available late last year in 2023. Uh, so, I mean, in fact, I'm back maybe only one month of production for this package here and the only reason i know that is because i ordered one and it still has not been built so um, september build date for mine and i ordered it the first day it was available and got scheduled the first week it was available to be scheduled um so i, I can tell you that for a fact so again available on the big Ben or outer banks trim this gives you uh the availability to go off-road so it gives you the underbody protection it's going to protect give you a skid plate on the front protect the engine and such not sure how much underbody protection you're going to get hopefully the fuel tank as well that'll help protect that. Uh, you'll also get the upgraded, you'll get a 17 inch carbonized gray painted low gloss alloy wheel. So that's typical of that. So you'll normally see the, if you look at the Badlands wheel, it is gonna look similar to this, just a little bit different color. Uh, so I, in fact, it might be the same wheel. So you're gonna get that as well. You also go, you'll notice that you're gonna get an all-terrain tire that goes with that. So it's a two uh, Continental 225-65 R17 tire. So get an all-terrain tire instead of an all-season tire to go with it. And then you're gonna get the black diamond graphics package as well. Uh, you're gonna get that here on the side. I believe you even get it on the hood too. So pretty cool upgraded uh, graphics and such and great package. Now do remember on this in here, this is the dedicated wheel you get with this package, so you cannot get the optional 18-inch wheel with this uh, as well. So a pretty cool package. Again, $12.95 for this package and available on the Big Ben or the Outer Banks.
So now let's talk about the class two trailer tow package. Now this package is available as you can see up here on the big bin, the free wheeling, the outer banks and the badlands um, models. Um, it's actually included in the heritage edition, which when I don't get to the heritage edition, you'll know that. Um, so you, you know, we'll talk about that, but also this package is required. If you get the, on the big bin trim, if you get the uh, black diamond package as well. So just so you know that, uh, so this package here is a course, like you'd expect, was going to give you the hitch back here. So you're going to get that uh, class two trailer tow hitch. You're going to get the spots for the hooks, four pin wiring as well back here, but also this will contain, gives you the full size spare as well on your big bend and outer banks. The reason you don't get the full size spare on the other ones is because um, more than likely it's, you're already getting a full size spare on that trim. That's probably why. Uh, so this is a great package. Um, again, does require on the, uh, the uh, big bend um, with the black diamond package, it's required, uh, but is optional on all the other trims as well. Big Ben, freewheeling, Otter Banks, and your Badlands edition. All right, now let's talk about some options that are available. So these are standalone options. We've, we've covered all the different packages. And now let's talk about these standalone options for you. And starting here with exterior here, uh, we've talked about these wheels. So that's a standard wheel it comes with. In fact, let's go ahead and, and click on that so we can kick off the black diamond package here for us. <clears throat> so that is your standard wheel and tire package here. This wheel comes with a special tire dedicated to it as well. And so does this one, I believe. So I think when you click on this one, that is part of that package The we talked earlier, and it gets that tire there. Uh, if we do go to this other package over here, as you'll notice, uh, it is going, it goes back. Actually, when you get to that one, it goes back to this the standard tire that comes with that one. And then we go to this other one. It's going to give you this other tire because it's a bigger tire, right? So we do have a, an optional standalone option uh, wheel here. That is this 18-inch machine face alloy or ebony black painted wheel. 715 is the extra cost for that. And so that wheel is available and gets the dedicated tire. Of course, it's still an all-season tire, but it's now a 225-60R18 all-season tire for you there. So there you go. So that's a, that's available and optional for you. Uh, we also do have the um, going down through here. Some of these, we're going to let you know which ones are dealer installed options first. Uh, factory options of, you know, give you some some tips on which you should maybe stay away from if you want to get one quick order pretty quick. But all of them shouldn't take too long, but some will take will kind of hold it up a little bit. So we do have this underbody protection. As you can see, it doesn't have a price. That means it's only available in the black diamond package. So just uh, kind of note that at least for uh, the big bend trim that is we do have the splash guards front and rear splash guards so that is 220 for those that's going to give you the splash guards on the back i would kind of stay away from those those splash guards are a factory accessory ford will put them on at the factory but it will take longer to get it scheduled because they put those on at a very small capacity on that so um you notice a black mesh grill came with a package we do have this fender flare kit one and two so click on these so you can kind of see what that looks like so one of them is going to be the black like this you're seeing here so pre-assembled uh non-painted uh pocket style with the rivets here uh so this is not available with your mud flaps uh mud flap kit i should say that's different than your splash guards we'll talk uh to get you that but this is a dealer installed kit here that would the dealer would put on there so uh it does say pre-assembled um, but it is available uh, again for you in several different trims, including the Big Ben. Uh, that's a 580. We do have this other flare kit here. They're going to be painted. So again, they're going to be unassembled, and and the dealer will paint that and for you, and then put it on. That's why it's 1160 for that. So they'll come. They might come painted in the correct body color, but you can get that. So a couple different fender flare kits and. Uh, um, you know, those may not hold it up because there are dealer, dealer, dealer installed options. Um, front license plate bracket. If you live in a state that doesn't, uh, that requires a front license plate, it is going to be included. But in states like Kansas, it's not. It's a standalone option. It's no charge option. The dealer should install it for you. So if you want one on there, make sure you order it uh, if your uh, your dealer does not is not in a two-state uh, dealer there. So like us. Uh, all right. So lift gate curtain privacy curtain here this is a hundred dollars you can kind of see what that looks like uh, this is something you can get through ford accessories later and that's how i probably get that uh this uh, it's a dealer installed option but the dealer doesn't actually install it, it just puts it in your vehicle but you can get that through ford accessories for about the same price so that's what i would do if i were you engine block heater that is a factory installed option i would do that from the factory if you want that Helps you plug that vehicle in, keep it warm, so that way it, it, it starts up pretty easily in the wintertime. 
Um, so that's something that you might want to do and go ahead and add it uh, on your factory build order. We do have a roof rail crossbar. So $400, you can see that puts it up there. So if you want to make a, if you want to put any kind of tents, uh, roof tents or something like that, you're going to need these. So make sure you look at that. In fact, you might actually look before you get a tent because you might need something a little bit stronger that goes further over the racks. So, but this is also available to be able to put your luggage on and stuff like that. So uh, different systems there. So keep that in mind. So crossbar, that is crossbar one because they do make two different versions of that. Um, but the version for this is for the Big Ben trim. And that is, um, I'm trying to look for the location of that. Um, that is a dealer installed option so that it would be shipped to the dealership and they would install it for you. We do have a front and a rear and a front and rear. There's three different options here for mud uh, flap kits. So that one's going to be a little different. So instead of a molded in, it's going to be more of a rubberized uh, kit. So there are two different options. You can see because of that, these will not be available on your fender flare kit or your splash guards. But these, I believe, are also dealer installed options. They are. So you can get those later. So if you're like, well, I want that in those together, um, see if your dealership can install those in there. But probably because of that way, the fender flares bolt on. Uh, it's it, it will be a struggle to do that. So there you go. Uh, again, that's something else you can get later and have the dealership do it for you. Um, but OK, here actually is a look at the graphics from earlier uh, for that black diamond graphic package. So that's uh, the look of that graphic right there. Um, and I'll get that for my clips for it earlier where I didn't have it. Also, you have a topographic package here, $500 for this. And it's, you can see it kind of gives you this graphic along that line. Uh, which is pretty cool. Uh, so this package is also, uh, this is a Ford accessory. They will put it on at the dealer. And that was actually a late availability for 23 and didn't really see too many people order that, uh, but you can get that as well. So, and then uh, see, that's it for exterior options. Now moving down to the interior options, we have power moonroof, $920 for the power moonroof. And uh, that is available. It's optional equipment. doesn't require anything. Um, that, well, no, it does say it does require the convenience package to get the power moonroof. So you have to have the convenience package to get that. Uh, we do have the cargo mat back here. So this is available. Uh, there's one of the packages we mentioned earlier that it was included. Uh, but for 130 you can get the cargo mat. Uh, that is a Ford accessory. So they will include it into your vehicle when it gets shipped out. That should not hold up your build if you want to add that to your vehicle. We have two different assistance kits, an on-road and off-road. You can see the on-road is $80. Off-road is $210. Uh, you can see they come with different things. Uh, so uh, comes in handy. You can get this through Ford Accessories. And so I would not include that in your build, but instead order it through Ford Accessories website instead. Uh, same way with this first aid kit down here. $60 for that. Includes Band-Aids and everything. Comes in a nice Bronco little uh, emblem there, but you can get that through Ford Accessories website as well. And uh, I would encourage you to do that instead, um, not take any chances to hold it up. We also do have the interior bike rack. So this is available. This is a dealer installed option. Um, so you can get, put that on there and probably can put it on your vehicle when you need to. You lay the seats down, you attach these here in the back. And so that way you can attach those. Those bikes will st stand up back there in the rear cargo area and allow you to take those on the inside and not have to carry them on a rack or anything. So that's 280 for that. Um, so there you go. That's uh, available for you. I don't think that would hold up your build too much. I uh, didn't see too many people order that, so it shouldn't do that. Floor liners, front and rear with the carpeted mats, $200, or you can get it without the carpeted mats, $160. Uh, so that is a, an option. Again, we've talked about floor liners, I think, in one of the packages. Uh, but if you want the optional liners with or without the mats, two different options for you there. Would be included with your vehicle when it's shipped out from the factory and should not hold up your build. Cargo management system. This is a pretty cool system. 195 for this. It is a shelf divider um, table even. It comes out and creates a table for you. Um, that is a cool system. Should not hold up your build any if you want to add that to your build. And that is a, I believe that's a factory installed option. Yep, it's right here. Um, so that one would be put in your vehicle uh, if you want to get that as well. So, And then the seat backs. So we talked about rubberized flooring earlier. For the flooring so you can see so you can clean it out if you need to but also those seat backs those snap in on the back you can take those out and wash them out so those are optional now on the big bench and trim 95 dollars for those if you want those um should not hold up your build either so those are also available for you and i uh, believe that cover should cover all of our options for us here oh center console vault also $400. I missed that somewhere. That is a uh, dealer installed option, I believe. Let me double check here. Yep, there it is. Dealer installed option as well. 
be shipped to the dealership and they would install it for you. Kind of give you a view of what that looks like. Combination lock there if you want to put some valuables in there. So you make sure people don't steal it. Uh, you can do that. Um, it does say it's not available with the power moonroof on the Outer Banks model and also not available with the premium package on the Badlands model for some reason. Uh, but that's not, neither one of those are Big Ben models. So it's good to, to add that if you want to, to your Big Ben. Uh, and that covers all of our optional equipment there for you. So uh, hopefully that you did find some good value in this. There's a lot of different cool packages on the Big Ben trim, very versatile trim to be able to do a lot of things. So uh, there you go. That's all of our uh, core standard equipment, different packages, standalone options, all available in this one video. Hope you guys did enjoy it and got some good use of this. If you did, smash that like button. Also, don't forget the order banks are open up now. So you can go ahead and get that ordered if you want to. Um, find a good local dealership. There's some great local dealerships or great dealerships, I should say, across the country for you to order from. Uh, just a couple tips. If you're ordering from those dealerships, make sure you lock in that price when you order the vehicle because uh, Ford will. So Ford will honor the price that you, what it was when you ordered the vehicle, when it comes in, as long as you're the same person that ordered it is the same person that buys it. That's called price protection. And so some dealerships aren't always honoring that price protection. So you might want to ask if they do honor price protection and know how that works. And if you'll get that, that reimbursement on the vehicle and not later because there's some dealerships that are waiting to get the money from ford because they they don't always trust that they're going to get their money so you, we've been hearing some stories about that make sure your dealership knows a little bit about that find out what they're going to price the vehicle uh based off msrp as well and maybe get that in writing from them find out what their dealer fees as well are and if they add anything to their vehicle so those are some great things to find out and, and if they know a little bit about incentive lock and then send a protection so that that protects incentives they are when you ordered your vehicle uh so too so you, you can look and see which is better when it comes in or when you ordered it and see which one of those is better you can do that so uh so make sure you know that uh, also we're taking orders so if you do want to order with us uh we do have a special uh youtube offer that is you get if you finance a vehicle with us at standard rates then we're going to pay up to thousand dollars of your travel expenses or your shipping costs to ship this from you us to you uh you can do that um so uh, take advantage of that if you want to. So uh, give us a contact. Let us know you have the YouTube special and we can do that for you. So if you want to uh, come and pick it up instead, then travel expenses include airfare, your gas and hotel to get the vehicle back to you. So that is something else you can take advantage of as well. So again, uh, I think that's it for this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, we're going to be doing all these videos. So hope you guys enjoy these. Uh, don't forget, smash that like button. Appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, hit the subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you can be notified next of another video uploaded to the channel. And until the next video, don't forget to stay positive, be kind to one another, be kind to yourself, and we'll see you on the next video.